Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be quickly reviewing the Carbon 7, which is a new assault rifle that it seems the developers intend to add to the game. Now this is on the PTS, so a lot of this can change, especially when I have been looking at some numbers and I think the developers might need to do some tweaks for this weapon. Now this weapon is based on a 5.56 category, which means you can use the 5.56 compatible mods under the assault rifle category to mod this weapon. Based on my build, I have a 20,000 base damage, 790 RPM, and 40 rounds in the magazine. Now, this weapon is, in the case of its RPM, quite similar to the Custom P416. And what I'm seeing based on this calculation, and I went straight to this, is this weapon is going to even is not going to be able to compete with the custom P416 right off the bat. So I think the developers can already see this and make a change to make this weapon actually more viable. And then when you look at other weapon classes as well, like the AK um, and the way he, it hits really hard, it does hit harder in the, in the sense of how, you know, how well you can get an AK to roll. I have one that's 27,000 base damage and some people probably can get theirs even higher. And so I don't think this weapon can compete in that sense because it's a regular drop. If you look, it has regular talents that we can get from any weapon class. And so it's re you can recalibrate it. And so what I see with the weapon like this is the weapon does not seem like it's been fine tuned and finished. Now, I'm going to go and fire the weapon and run some missions with it. There might be, though, some advantage in regard to stability and accuracy, where if you were to run a comparison between this weapon and a P416, you might eventually see that there is a huge difference in regard to its accuracy and stability, which I think may be something worth making up for. But then you then look again and say, well, look at my reload times based on my P416. I have very I have shorter reload speed here with the P416, which makes the P416 still uh, continue to top this weapon. Now, maybe because of the roll that I got, I got a low rolling weapon. So that's also another possibility to put in, into perspective because this might not be the best possible drop. But this is also very low. This is one of those low drops that you're like, hmm, I wonder. But I've also gotten some really low P416 drops as well that cannot compete with this particular one. This is just one of those that just, you know, dropped really well. And I like the way the, the weapon rolled. So that's something that I'll definitely have to put into consideration. And so this Carbon 7 might be here to actually compete with the P416. But if this is the representation of where we are after all my modifications and everything, and I'm still at a loss for about 4,400 damage, then I think the developers can do better with a weapon like this and start to maybe make some tweaks and use this as an opportunity for another viable weapon that doesn't make the P416 the best weapon in the game and then maybe bring something that would actually work, but not have the base damage actually higher than the P416, just slightly increased, but then looking at its stability and accuracy, we do see that this is something that will work for a lot of people. The weapon is actually quite stable and accurate. Actually, I fired it a little bit once I got it and picked it up and I was actually quite you know, amazed as to how well it did. And then in regard to modding, one of the interesting aspects that I also uh, can say will make this weapon viable is because it's in the 556 category with all that uh, accuracy and with all that stability, you know, with the weapon like this, it just beams. It beams almost, if I would say, slightly better than your P416. I would say with all that stability and accuracy, if you're able to get yourself that sturdy magazine, you know, then you find yourself in a position. If you see the bloom on my P416 is spreading much more easily than the bloom on this weapon. So this weapon is a beamer in a sense, not a BMW, but it does do well when it comes to firing accurately as well. So let's look at some modding and then we'll be done with this video. You're able to still use all your regular 556 um, mods, like I said, and other compatible assault rifle mods. I have my EXPS scope here with the damage to elite 8%. And then I have the muzzle also that has a 5% uh, damage to elite as well. And then every other barrel that works, depending on what you want to run, crit chance, crit damage, stability, and then your magazines. If you have the light or the sturdy, or if you want to use something else, depending on what build and what preference you have. So you can also add a skin on it if you wanted to, but I don't really care. I prefer the way it looks, actually. It looks pretty good. 
So this is all I have to just say about this weapon uh, real quick. I mean, nothing is in stone yet. So we're still hoping to see some modifications to some of the things out here. Maybe this weapon doesn't even need to be touched at all. Maybe because of the way it's so accurate, um, it's lower damage at versus the accuracy gain or loss might make it a good competitor to the P416. So that's all I have for today. Thank you guys very much for your time and your audience. I appreciate y'all so much. I did mention earlier on the community page that there were going to be some extra video drops in this season because of the PTS, and I intend to keep you guys informed. So that's all I have for today. Thank you very much for your time and your audience, and I guess I'll see you in the next video. Peace.